There's been a bit of a rumor that Microsoft could be acquiring Netflix in the near future, or at least that's what one analyst has discussed. So let's talk about the possibility of that actually happening as we read through the few places that have covered the story. Let's dive right in right now. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when these videos go live. 75% of you are not subscribed. So if we want to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed this far. So uh, the big story that everybody's been talking about, could Microsoft buy Netflix? At least one analyst seems to think so. Uh, I do think that this would be a really, really interesting partnership. Um, this last year, Netflix hasn't done tremendously well. Um, it's done okay, but I believe the stock was down recently. Uh, it's still Netflix, though. It's still doing fine. But there is a lot of competition in the streaming space right now. So let's hear what uh, is being hypothesized here. Uh, basically, the whole logic around this acquisition ultimately comes back to Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft's nascent gaming subscription service, which the company expects will become the driving force behind its expansion beyond its Xbox consoles. Microsoft has been aggressively expanding its cloud streaming capabilities for gaming, putting its Xbox cloud gaming service on smartphones and Samsung TVs, allowing you to play titles like Halo and Flight Simulator without buying a console. Now that's really, really interesting. And I do think that is, would be one of the biggest strengths to having those services together. Now, having actually played Halo Infinite on the new Samsung televisions, it's truly impressive. And let's say the Activision deal closes in the near future. That means on any Samsung TV, you're going to have an incredibly low latency experience for Xbox built into your television if you have Xbox Game Pass. That is going to move televisions, and that is going to get a lot of people talking about Xbox and whether or not we even need the box anymore. Trust me when I say this, when you get to experience it, uh, I think you'll be as impressed as I was, at least if the standards that they held at the event where I got to play it are held in people's living rooms, basically. I've been really impressed with what I saw uh, thus far, and how does that all tie back to Netflix though? Let's keep reading. It's a shift Microsoft predicts will follow how our habits around music and media consumption moved away from the retail copies of CDs and DVDs to streaming services like Spotify and Netflix. Okay, so still nothing, still no quote from the analyst. Um, Indeed, Microsoft is actually teaming up with Netflix per an announcement a couple of days ago. For Netflix new, more, to, more affordable ad-supported streaming tier, Microsoft was picked as the exclusive ads marketplace and technology partner for the service. It'll be another feather in the cap of Microsoft's growing ad business, which is no slouch at $10 billion in revenue last year, although it pales in comparison to the likes of Google, up over $160 billion for the same period. Now, um, Netflix chooses Microsoft for its ad-backed video service. And basically, um, there's going to be a version of Netflix where you can watch ads and that's going to be able to enjoy content. Netflix has picked Microsoft to help deliver the commercials in a cheaper version of its video streaming service expected to launch later this year with a pledge to minimize the intrusions into personal privacy that often accompany digital ads. The Alliance announced Wednesday marks a major step towards Netflix's First foray into advertising, already steadfastly refusing to include commercials in its video streaming service since its inception 15 years ago. Netflix announced it would abandon its resistance to ads three months ago after disclosing it had lost 200,000 subscribers. I was talking about the dip uh, during the first three months of the year amid stiffer competition and rising inflation that has pressured household budgets. Yeah, inflation is just insane this year, and some people are hypothesizing that we're about to go through a recession, so Netflix needs to figure out some new moves. So that has caused management to realize the time had come for a less expensive option. So basically what's going to happen is uh, Netflix is going to offer a cheaper version with ad-supported uh, content basically to go through there, and Microsoft is going to be their first partner. And here comes the analyst that says, maybe Microsoft is actually thinking about buying Netflix. In any case, one analyst speaking to Yahoo Finance claimed that the partnership 
but trade a possible longer term goal, namely an exit for Netflix, which has been struggling to diversify its revenue streams and find new growth as of late. A decline in subscribers saw a massive investor exodus over the past year, with Netflix's share price taking an absolute battering from its peak of 690 points all the way down to 177 points today. Oof. Laura Martin, uh, Needham's senior analyst, has this to say about the partnership. It could be that Netflix is looking for an exit. Netflix is trying to get closer into closer to Microsoft and hopes that after Microsoft digests its Activision acquisition, it turns and buys Netflix next. Now, I have to imagine uh, Netflix might even be cheaper than the Activision deal. Uh, sure, it is like the de facto streaming service, but with this max exodus of people using the service, um, I'm sort of questioning what their value would be. Uh, I mean, it's a good service, but it, there's a lot of competition on the market. And a lot of places have actually taken back their television shows or whatever that made Netflix popular. And they, uh, Jez kind of alludes that. I'm assuming Jez wrote this because how else would I end up on Windows Central? Jez Corden. <laughs> Jez usually covers the Xbox stuff. That's why I say that. Uh, Martin reportedly suggested that it's only Microsoft who could foot the potential $100 billion valuation for Netflix once the Activision Blizzard deal closes. Hmm. So that's interesting. Let's see if there's any other quotes in here, and then I'll give my my thoughts here. So could that be interesting? I, I think it would be a good partnership. I think it would work for Microsoft. I don't think they would limit Netflix going to any other of the platforms. But here, here's the thing. I don't think that Netflix wants to sell. The CEO seems like kind of a no BS type person. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, the whole Dave Chappelle thing happened earlier this year, and he's just like, well, we're still going to keep it on there. And um, so all that happened, and he, he doesn't really seem to care about those sort of things. So I'm curious, are they even selling or are they just looking for uh, people to align with. I don't know. I don't think they're going to sell. I, I don't think this, the, this goes through. I'm going to, I'm going to put my prediction in the, uh, not going to happen camp. I don't get the vibe from the CEO that he is the type of person that's going to look to bail. I think he cares about the, the brand and what they're trying to do with Netflix, but maybe I'm off base there. It is an interesting thought. So hypothetically, what if that happens? Like it would just be part of Game Pass. I mean, that would be great. It would reduce my bills every month, right? But um, yeah, I don't know. Going to be an interesting world as more and more of these acquisitions come. You know, uh, I did the story yesterday about Sony and Bungie. That deal is final. Sony also acquired Jade Raymond Studio not that long ago. And uh, the ac acquisitions are just going to keep happening. I think the Activision deal goes through. I've said that. I feel strongly about that, but uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Microsoft is going to buy Netflix? And I don't think it would be just limited to the Xbox brand and what they could do there. I think there's other angles that I'm not thinking of off the, off the cuff here. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. And if you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when it goes live. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to get out of here, but thank you to the members for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate that you support me in doing this. If you want to become a member, you can click that join button at the bottom of the screen. It's right down there. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to get out of here, get some sleep, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.